Hello, Shelly here from Practice Better, and I'm back with another PB hack video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can utilize our programs feature with the email only modules to run a program or a challenge with your prospects or your clients. So let's head over to where our programs feature is. That's under my practice and then my programs. So today, as I mentioned, we're going to be focused on a summer self-care challenge. This is an email only fixed date challenge. So let's go in here to manage. And before you actually set up your modules, you will be brought into where you're going to actually just set up um, the main program information. So the description, um, the start and end date, because it's a fixed date, it is going to start and end on the same day for everybody who's uh, enrolled in this challenge. And then you could offer it as a free, um, a free challenge or a low cost challenge. So if you're running this as a, as a lead magnet or a lead nurture, maybe it's going to be free or, or super low cost, um, but you can also charge for it. So once you, and then you can also add up here, I created this in Canva, I just have a template. So what I do when I rerun these challenges, I just duplicate them so I don't have to build it over and I just change the dates. And let's say if I'm gonna run this in the fall, I would just um, grab the template in Canva, probably change the image and then put fall with the dates and then you can just upload that here but it's super easy just to duplicate these programs and then just come in here and change, change everything in the dates without starting from scratch. So once you get that information set up, this is where you're going to set up your modules. And you can see here with a little envelope indicating that this is purely an email only program. And you, you can absolutely combine um, regular modules with the email only. So when you add a module, you click on the red button, add module. Now these are a couple templates I have set up, <clears throat> but when I create new, you can either choose from a content module or an email only. With the con content module, just keep in mind that participants would need access to the portal. And this is the module where you, would, you can add video, audio, handouts, attachments, protocols, tasks, worksheets, all that good stuff. But if you just want to send the content in an email, um, this is where you could send it to prospects who do not yet have access to Practice Better because they'll just read it in the email. So let's take a look in one of the modules. So you can see it's set up, you know, more like an email than than a regular module. So here, I like to personalize it, so I always add in a placeholder, so it pulls in their first name. Then I just add in and kind of format the content to look nice. You have your formatting options down here. Um, I also like to add in hyperlinks. Um, that's right, so if you highlight a word, you can click here to insert a hyperlink. So, if this is for prospects and you want them to watch videos outside, so I have a video in Vimeo, it could be in YouTube or wherever you want to host it, but I just put a hyperlink, click here to view my welcome video, I put the duration, um, you could also host a guidebook if you want to host that on your website or Google Drive, but I love to utilize the hyperlinks. Um, so once you get the module set up, you're going to click on Save Changes. And then you can see here each day starting on July 10th, they will get an email. And, you know, if you needed to reorder these for whatever reason, um, you can just click and drag and move those around. So those are where the modules are. Here's where the enrollment. So now you can certainly share a link that could be on social, email, um, a link on your website where prospects could self-register for this challenge. But you can also come over here to the red button and click on register clients. And then you could register clients that are already in your practice better. Or if you want to register new clients, you click on this red button 
and you're just going to add the first and last name and email address. And if you're not ready for them to have access to Practice Better because they're prospects, you can just click here to create a client profile only. You can absolutely give them access later. Um, but if you do want to give them access, if you click here, then they will get an email um, inviting them to activate their account in Practice Better. And you can also give them access to the journals or you can not give them access and do that later if you choose to do that. So depending if you're running this in Practice Better or just for email only. Um, so here, like you could set up a group chat, um, but again, they would need access to Practice Better. Um, if you want to run something like similar to a Facebook group, but right in Practice Better. Now here I have Zoom connected to Practice Better and I have set up four Zoom sessions for everybody who's enrolled in the challenge. Um, but if you didn't want to give these people access to Practice Better just yet, you could create these Zoom set sessions outside of Practice Better or whatever video, you know, platform that you use, and then you could share that information with them. But it's super easy if you are running it in Practice Better to, <clears throat> excuse me, to set up these sessions and then anybody who enrolls in the challenge will have access to the Zoom information. And you can also send broadcast messages from here. You can look at where the participants are. If, it, if these are actual modules, um, you could see where they are in the program. But if you're running it with participants who are not in Practice Better, um, then you won't really be able to use the analysis feature. So that is how you would set up the group program. Let's go back out here. So this is where if you did want to run this over again, let's say it's um, you finished this challenge and you wanted to duplicate it, you would just click the three dots and then you would say duplicate and then you would just reset up the new dates and just make any changes for the new challenge. Now, the other thing I want to show you is under my practice and then automations. So if this is when you click the red button, you're going to get a list. These are all the various automations you can set up. This very first one here, if you are running this with leads or prospects and you're not ready to give them access to practice better, then you do not need to set this up. So setting up this automation is really to automatically give participants access to, so when you select the program here, when they register for this program, it's just going to automatically, if I check this, it's going to give them access to the client portal. So they'll receive an email ask, inviting them to activate their account and practice better. So that's a huge time saver if you, in fact, want to invite them to the portal. But you may be interested in just running this with leads and prospects. And then after the challenge, you might have a process to determine um, who you want to work with or who's a good fit to be working with you. And at that point, you can add them. So if that's the case, under My Clients View All, this is where those prospects who registered for your program, if they only have a, um, if they don't have access to Practice Better, you'll just see their name and their email address. And then at, if you do want to add them, you can just click on Review and Add. So here's where you can add additional information. Um, you can view any forms that they've completed. This client hasn't completed any, but then you can either add them here, or if you didn't want to add them, you can just click on the three dots and say ignore and delete. If it's somebody that you know decided not to move forward with maybe the next step in your funnel, like your program or one-to-one -one sessions. 
So that is how you can run a challenge with either prospects or with clients in Practice Better and just how easy it is to set up. So thank you so much for watching and I hope this was helpful.